following movie will optimize the performance of a bracket. Here you can see we have a number of geometry parameters that control the design of our bracket. We have a height to support dimension and a thickness which is used in three locations in order to define the cross section. And then for the overall thickness we have an extrusion which has some parameters associated with it that will control the thickness. And we'll be using these three parameters later on to optimize the performance of our bracket. We'll begin by creating our finite element model in the NASTRAN structural environment. And we'll create a linear static solution. For this particular model, we'd like to idealize it as a shell model. We could optimize it with solid elements as well. So we'll go ahead and create our mid-surface, and then we'll go ahead and mesh the mid-surface with quadrilateral elements. Now the material properties have been inherited from the CAD part, so we don't need to specify that. And we'll also specify that we'd like to inherit the mid-surface thickness for the shell elements from the mid-surface definition. Next we'll specify our structural boundary conditions and loads. Here you can see the direction will be minus y for our distributed load. And then we'll go ahead and solve. Now the performance criteria that we're most interested in for our bracket is the displacement in the y direction. We want to ensure that it does not exceed one millimeter. And currently we have about a half a millimeter of displacement. And since that's down, it's in the negative direction, so minus 0.47. So next we'll go ahead and begin uh, to create our geometry optimization solution. And, and this is done through a wizard, which we can specify the objective, which will be to minimize our weight of our component. Then we'll define the constraints. For this, we'll specify a result measure which will be the displacement in the y direction. We're looking for the minimum across the entire model, and we'll give it a, the expression a name of DISPY. And here you can see it understands from the results what that value is, and we'd like to specify a lower limit of minus one millimeters. Next, we'll specify some design variables. This is how we'll modify the part in order to meet that specific criteria. And we have a number of different parameters that we can choose from. First being feature parameters, and this is that thickness of the, the shell model, uh, or the thickness of the bracket, which will allow to vary between 5 and 15 millimeters. And then we have a number of sketch variables that we looked at earlier. The height to support will allow that to vary between 40 and 10 millimeters, and then also the thickness of the cross section will allow that to vary between 15, uh, 5 and 15 millimeters. All right, now we could specify more. Uh, we'll, we'll go with these three for uh, optimizing our part. Here you can see the initial value as well as the lower and upper limits. And uh, then we're ready to go ahead and run the optimization solution. All right, it will pop up a spreadsheet, which it will populate with the values for each of the iterations. You can see Nastran going through each of the iterations in two or three seconds for each one. There's about 17 that it needs to go through, so I'll go ahead and pause the movie, um, and we'll go straight to the results. So here when it's done, it brings up the uh, optimization spreadsheet, which we can see all the data of how it varies the various 
uh, design variables and uh, what result measure we're getting. So here you can see for our weight, it's reducing the weight uh, across those iterations. And here you can see how uh, it's modifying the design variables that we specified in order to arrive at that optimum. All right, let's go ahead and close the optimization spreadsheet and then we'll go ahead and take a look at our optimization results. And here, because we specified we wanted to retain all of the uh, iterations, we can go ahead and step through them and see how the, uh, how the part was being modified as the optimization was progressing. All right, it went to 17 cycles, so there's our final shape. If we go one more, we'll go back to the initial shape. So here you can step between the initial and the final and see how it changed to optimize it. And that concludes the demonstration.